Guys, we are very happy to welcome Marco from Porta del Vento in Sicily here into Berlin and to try uh, one of his wines with us, which we're very, very excited about. Uh, Marco, thank you very much for coming. Welcome. Yeah. So great pleasure for me to, to uh, be here. We're very happy you're here. And today we're going to be drinking one of your wines, which is the Archai 2019, which is made from the grape Pelicone. Now, Pelicone is quite an unusual grape for people who, you know, living in Germany might not know too much about it. Could you let us know anything about the grape as I pour us? Yes, uh, Pericone is a really um, no well-known grapes, uh, red grapes in Sicily. It's a small, small area, mm -hmm. uh, about 300 hectares in all the Sicily, and just in the west side of Sicily. It's a very interesting uh, variety because of the, um, um, the wine is very interesting and depends a lot of the, uh, the vintage. If okay. you have a good vintage, it's perfect for the, the red, but sometimes for the late time of the harvest, uh, middle yeah. of October, sometimes. That's a long time to wait. <laughs> yes, you have yeah. to wait a, a lot for the full ripeness of the, the grapes. Yeah. And so in, uh, in, in this case, 19 was a perfect vintage with a, a excellent ripeness in the grapes. Yeah. And so this is uh, the Amphora um, Pericone with the six months on this, with the skins mm -hmm. in the amphora. Okay. And what was your decision to, to do it in amphora? Uh, why yeah. I started with amphora? Well, with this wine. What made you think this pericone is going to go in amphora rather than, for example, a Trebbiano or another one of your grapes that you grow? Yes, I just start with the, this uh, amphora project with the, um, the, the white cataratto and the red pericone. Mm -hmm. And this was a 19 vintage, the first uh, vintage in the, when I used the amphora mm -hmm. for the, the, the red. And uh, I think uh, it's a, um, a perfect way to, to have a really uh, expression of the place, of the terroir, of mm -hmm. the climate, of the soil. Because I, I I think the amphora in the in the soil, yeah, and so they, they take the uh, all the the sun, the night, yeah, and so everything uh, in, the, in the place. I so. think I've seen a photo of your amphora actually, and it's uh, it's kind of half buried in the soil, right? So it's kind of half in, half out, which is a little bit more unusual. Because so normally when you see amphora, you see them fully submerged in the soil. Um, why have you done it so that it's half in and half out? Uh, <laughs> you got too reason. tired digging. <laughs> no, it's, uh, in, uh, in this way, half uh, in soil and half uh, outside, yeah. you have more influence of the, the climate, of the yeah. temperature. Uh, maybe the, the wines um, have more development in a short time. Okay, well, let's, uh, let's try it. Cheers. Cheers. I mean, from the nose, it's, it's, it's one of these wines that you smell and it's just got so much soul, you know? It just, it, for me, it's, uh, I mean, Sicily has a special place in my heart, especially Sicilian reds. And this, to be honest, I feel like I could smell this and blind, blind guess it as being Sicilian. It just has that kind of inviting, slightly spicy, slightly smoky nose, which I, I absolutely adore. At the beginning, the nose is a um, balsamic nose. Yeah. This is the start, um, yes, and then the, the red fluid. Oh, it's fantastic. And the tannins, they're so well integrated. They're so, yeah. they're present, you know, it's not a, it's not a glue glue, it's not a soft wine, but the tannins, they're almost just so much a part of the wine. They'd flow with it. It's just, it's rounded, but it's right there taking your mouth and saying, hey, I'm a pericone and I'm serious because <laughs> it is a serious wine and this has got fantastic aging potential as well. Yes, I, th I, think, yeah. uh, I think so. I think yeah. so. Do you have any old bottles? Um, yes, I, last, uh, last summer I bottled the, my um, uh, 11 vintage Pericone yeah. after 10 years of aging in the big barrel. Oh, wow. Yes, I um, used the half of the 11 production and I, after two years I um, bottled it mm -hmm. and half I lived in the, in the winery for 10 years. You know, I actually... I discovered Porta del Vento with, uh, with Annika. We were in Palermo and mm -hmm. we were drinking these pet nats on the street, getting drunk uh, whilst on holiday. And it, it brought a lot of good memories. And we weren't working in wine then. And uh, when we did start working in wine, we were looking through some photos and uh, we saw 
a photo of us cheersing with the bottle and uh, we said, hey, now that we work in wine, wouldn't it be great if we were uh, lucky enough to start working with Porto d'Avento? We're very happy to. So thank you, thank you very much for coming in and to, uh, to give this a little sip. And um, we really, really encourage all of our customers to give, uh, give the range of Porto d'Avento a go. Thank okay. you, Marco. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Cheers.